How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'm back again with a new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday. We're on Tuesdays. I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the tumbleweed with screened-in porch. I am back again with a all new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, and I am back with a very special floor plan that you guys know and love. If you're subscribed like you should be, this is the Tumbleweed, a fan favorite floor plan that was one of the first floor plans that was originated when recreational resort cottages came to life. So with that said, we always like to bring this model back and add little tweaks little features to make it go that extra mile. And we've done so today with the tumbleweed with a screened in front porch. And starting here on the exterior of the home, the dimensions of the home itself of this particular model is 15 feet wide. It's 34 feet long, and that's including the eight foot front porch. And it's on sale today for 99K. I kept it under 100,000 for you this time, 99K. And that is today, not next year, not next week. Today for the tumbleweed to be sent your way. And right here on the exterior, you'll see that we have the yellow base color, the brown trim around your windows, door, and fascia. And then we've topped it all off with the brown metal roof. So if you're subscribed, again, like you should be, then you know that our quality here at Recreational Resort Cottages is like no other. It's packed with warranty on the siding that lasts 30 years, 30 years on the metal roof, and even 30 years on your composite Trex decking, which happens to be tortoise brown as well, if you were asking. And right here, come up on to the front porch so I can showcase with this eight feet of front porch and outdoor living space, what you have to accommodate with this tumbleweed. And right here, what we've chosen to do is add the X style porch railing. We have X style porch rails and we've chosen to screen it in. So not only do you have an outdoor living space that is totally secluded because where we came up just now, there will be a screen door there. So that ties everything in together. So you are critter proof. We've even screened underneath the composite Trex decking for you as well. But did this X railing give some character? Yes, it did. But you know what also did is us adding in the 72 inch prismatic window and the porch right there in the gable of the porch. So rather than do a crow split like we normally do or even a closed gable, we chose to close it, but also add a window at the same time. So great curb appeal. So that is a great aesthetic right here in this tumbleweed. And then as you can see, we have two exterior can lights. We've also wired and braced for a ceiling fan. And even notice right here on the front side of the tumbleweed, we have the Texas Star door. That is a OG option as well. So whether you're from Texas or not, this is what we call the Texas Star. So we got to represent there and bring in some natural light. Also, we have the window right here up front. We have black windows going throughout this model. So rather than the traditional white, we chose to go black. So that way it ties it in together and gives it an updated feel, more modern feel as well. And then you'll see right here above the front door, another 72 inch prismatic window. So not only did you get one right here on the front of the home, but one on your porch as well. So tons of natural light. And I'll show you a great feature about that on the inside, but come on in. So I can showcase what this tumbleweed has to offer. And as you come in, hoo, 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 like I say, it's all good in the wood. So right here, as you come inside, this tumbleweed is a great floor plan because with it being 15 feet wide, you have an abundance of area right here in the living space to accommodate a couch like you see here. Fun fact, from this corner wall to this end, 
right here of the living room wall that goes up to the stairwell. This is 96 inches of space. So you have enough space to accommodate a full size couch, as you see here, or you have several options for furniture of your choice. And then right here, we have two picture windows bringing in the natural light as well as accompanied with the two transom windows up above. So that right there, look at these raised sidewalls going throughout. We have the raised sidewalls in this home making this 399 square feet of tiny home living feels so much larger. We've also paired it with a black guppy ceiling fan to tie it all in together. All of our trim in this particular home is going to be stained hickory, southern yellow pine, the quality that you're looking for, and giving it more of a rustic feel. This is not a complete cabin, but it's just enough to make it feel very rustic for you as well. So kind of, this is what we call a contemporary rustic, if I say so myself. So. This right here is a great option if you're interested in the tumbleweed. And directly across from the living room wall, we have the front wall where we have the built-in entertainment center, where we have the hickory cabinets down below. And then we have the space right here up above that you can mount your TV right here in place of this picture, or you can place it simply right here on top of the entertainment center. You have the indention right there, you'll see that's what we call a cutback. That offers additional dimension to your home. What that does is just add some depth and some character to the floor plan. Rather than it just being a square box, you get a little bit of dimension there. And speaking of dimension, look at that dimension of that interior view of the prismatic window. And what's so great is if you're in the loft, you can literally look from the loft through this window through the other window on the front porch and see out onto the property. That is a great feature and just things that we do here at Recreational Resort Cottages. So as we make. Hey everybody, I'm sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled program, but I've got to come to you real quick and let you know about the Mr. Tiny Red Tag Sale of the Week. If you're in the market for a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,942 square foot beauty of a home, then this is the one by the name of the Jersey. I have this discounted to get it on the road right now for 199,000 to the first person that hits me up and says, Mr. Tiny, send the Jersey my way. So this is why supplies last. I've got one here available at this price. Otherwise, you'll never be able to get it at this price again, guys. So better get it while the getting's good. If you want to see additional photos, run on over to our website, www.rrcrockwall.com, and then call me and say, Mr. Tiny, the jersey is the one I need, and I'll send it your way. Now back to the video. So as we make our way across from the living room, we're separated right here by the island on wheels that can be moved around at your convenience. Again, the hickory base right there with the hickory cabinets. We have the storage uh, down below. We have the elongated side, so that way you have enough space that you can put some stools if you like. It's also open on the opposite side, so you can again store uh, some uh, seat or two right here underneath. You have that option as well. Again, the front window here, again, pairs everything from the stained hickory trim right over to the hickory cabinets of your kitchen. And you'll see that we have the Evoke tile going throughout this model as well. Again, that's a limited run tile. We've been running through it, so it is getting limited. So I'll let you know that right now. So while supplies last, this uh, backsplash will be available. So as of the moment, this home has the Evoke tile in it. And you can see just a touch of tans that complement the hickory cabinets in here. and We've taken that tile backsplash from the countertop all the way up to the bottom of the cabinet, as we always do here at Recreational Resort Cottages. Paired that with a stainless steel one basin farm sink window up above, because what you want to do, last thing you want to do is be washing some dishes and be looking at all the cabinet. You want to get a view, something to pass the time while you're you know, enjoying the tiny home lifestyle. Right up above, we have two clear story windows bringing in the natural light also. Then we make our way on down and you see we have full size appliances in this tumbleweed, meaning we've got full size fridge, full size stove, full size convection oven. 
And what that is, we went ahead and finished it out with a smooth top. You could do a coiled top if you want to. You can even convert to gas. That is your option. And as we come on back, you'll see that this fridge is side by side with ice in the door. So plenty of space for you to put all your food and snacks up just like you like them. And as we come on back, before we get into the pocket door here, we have the designated area for the stackable wash machine and dryer. That's enough space to accommodate 24 inch in width, compact, stackable washer and dryer. And then we have the pocket door here. Again, if the trim is stained hickory, you know Mr. Tiny's got to do the pocket door in it as well. Let me come on in. You we'll take it into the bathroom, and you'll see here we've got plenty of storage down below, the drawer bank there, and we have a linen cabinet sitting right here on the bathroom counter for additional storage. We have the illusion window right there up above your toilet, so that gives you the ease and privacy. And then right here, of course, we got the tile in the kitchen. We kept it going right here in the bathroom. So you'll see here behind me, going from the floor up to the top, we have that beautiful tile in here for your convenience. We have the soap dishes right over here to the side. We have the elevated ceiling right here in the shower because yes, we do have a loft above us, but just because we have a loft does not mean we want to sacrifice your headspace when you are getting clean. We need that hygiene on point. So with that said, we're around six foot one, so you can see how much space you got up above me to accommodate. So very functional, very efficient for all shapes and sizes. And then behind pocket door number two, here we go. Let's take it into the bedroom. And as we come into the bedroom, you'll see what makes this tumbleweed so great is the space. In this particular model, we've got the windows over here, the clear stories bringing in the natural light, and you have enough space in the tumbleweed that is fit for a king or queen. But I say king specifically because it can accommodate a king size bed. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a king size bed in a 399 square foot tiny home. Where they do that at? Recreational resort cottages where Mr. Tiny is. We know, we know. Again, king size bed in your bedroom. That's the way to downsize in style. Speaking of style, look at this barn door style right here. The double barn doors in the hickory stained finish. We have the triple dresser drawers right here in the center. We have the space up above that you can place uh, a small TV if you'd like. And then barn door opens up and you know we got the real wood shelf and rod. That didn't sound right. Real wood shelf and rod. Yes, that's a little bit better. All right. So that way y'all understand where I'm coming from. All right, put that back and then we'll make our way on through. And let's go through the second door here. It's a full swing door here for the tumbleweed. And just a fun fact, we've had clients ask before, Mr. Tiny, you got pocket doors in the other doors into the bathroom. Why wouldn't you do a pocket door right here to save some swing space? I hear you, sweetheart. I see where you're trying to go, but I'm Mr. Tiny. When it comes to Tiny, hey, I'm the professional. Just like you're a professional at what you do, there's a reason if we did not choose to do so. So with this swing door, let me educate you real quick. You see how this doorway is at an angle. If there was to be a pocket door, where's it going to go? Where's it going to slide into? There's no space. Therefore, we have to do a swing door. You do have the option if you want the swing to be in or out. You just let Mr. Tiny know and I'll make it happen. But that was just a fun fact while we're walking through. Just to educate you, you're part of the family if you subscribe like you should be. So I want you to be as educated as I am on the products. Because if you're interested, I want you to pick the best home that fits your needs and your lifestyle. Now follow me back through and we'll take our way up to the loft. And you'll see right here, we have the hickory stained handrail leading up the loft stairs. You'll see we've even stained the stairs going up. And they're real wood, of course, and we've stained them in the hickory finish, even added the drawers in the stairs. So that way you want to have a little storage space, you want to hide a few things. Hey, nobody ever knows it's there unless you show them. So let's take it up to the loft so I can showcase how much space you have in the tumbleweed. And now we're in the loft of the tumbleweed. So with this being said, this is why it's a fan favorite, because you can see the ample space that you get in this single loft. You realistically could fit 
a couple of king size mattresses over here. I have clients that utilize this as a office space. They have their main bedroom downstairs. They get a small desk, a bean bag, a computer chair, more of a gaming chair, and they can sit on their laptop, get their monitor and work away. This can also be a lounge area. Like I said, get a bean bag up here. This would be the lounge, the chill space, if you will. Also, you have the additional storage space. So if you want to downsize, but you're trying to do it in your own time, this could be additional space where you bring a little bit with you from the move and you have it up here out of sight, out of mind. You put it in some containers and as you are comfortable, you start giving away a little bit. That's the point of downsizing, living tiny, being minimal. But we give you a little extra space so that way you have the option as well. Speaking of this loft space, you can see how much natural light is coming into this loft. We have clear stories on each side of the loft as well as the beautiful trapezoid windows right here off the rear of the home. So that way, no matter if you're walking around the back of the home, you walk around the front here at Recreational Resort Cottages, we're giving our tiny homes character and curb appeal. So that way, when somebody drives by, if they're familiar with what we do, they can look at it and know where that home came from because it looks like no other. With that said, you're here in the loft space. Take a look down to the main area so that way you get the loft view of the tumbleweed. 399 square feet, never felt so sweet. And guys, let's get a look at those rails as well in the loft. Those are the hickory rails for you also. So that is real wood as well, very durable. So that way you're getting longevity with the product that you purchase. And again, like I said, this particular tumbleweed with screened in porch is coming in at 15 feet wide, 34 feet long, including the eight foot screened in front porch. And it's on sale today for 99K, 99,000 guys. You just let me know now and I'll tell you how I can send it to you. So guys, this is a great home currently available on the market. If you enjoyed this video tour, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button right now. Also hit that notification bell so that way you're notified each and every week as I showcase new and improved models. Also subscribe. If you're subscribed like you should be, you're part of the family. And that way you know every time I drop a new video, you are the first to know about it. Also leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite feature of the tumbleweed with screened in porch was. Was it, of course, the screened in porch? Was it the prismatic windows that we featured on the interior of the porch? Or was it the front of the home prismatic window? Was it the X railing? That's my personal favorite. Hey, we got that going. So that way you've got some curb appeal as well. Let me know in the comments so that way we can keep bringing those features to new models. Also, if you want to contact me right now about purchasing the tumbleweed with screen in porch, run on over to Instagram at the Mr. Tiny at T H E M R T I N Y. And you can connect with I anytime. I'm selling the tumbleweed with screen in porch directly off of my Instagram. So you can contact me day or night and I'll make sure that price is right. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'll see you next Tiny Home.